and what I have to offer. It is, it is a time to be taken seriously. Then let's imagine every one of us of this kind of experience, how can be translated? Well, when I read it for the first time, maybe I, I have cried because it is a, a, a sample that it is, it is real because I work with orphan persons with disabilities who come from all the corners of Albania, from Tirana, from Škodra, from Saranda, from Korcha, and so on, who are abandoned, who are alone, without love, who suffer every day in their life. So I am going to present a rose of hope toward a new neuropsycho-spiritual approach for personal formation of orphan persons with disabilities. which is the aim and the objective of this research. First, I would like to say that we come into this world without nothing, and we go to the end of our life without nothing too. Our material weight scale is always zero at the, at the start of our life and is always zero at the end of our life. So I mean material. But it is a different approach when I mean spiritual, because it affects everyone, everybody, much or less. So what we can do during to our journey, if we grow our inner world, if we grow, if we grow our personal and if we, go, if we grow uh, our, not only emotions, but our way of living, no matter who we are, what about then for orphan persons with disabilities? A lot of the perspectives has tried to, to slightly touch this problem because it is a big problem education, medicine, psychiatry, counseling rehabilitation are trying to treat them in a holistic way, in a holistic manner. To my opinion, I would say that every program, clinical or whatever program, should not focus only on physical body, but on emotional and soul too, because we have to make a great thing for this person. We have to, to tell them that they really exist, regardless of their disability. They have, there must be someone to tell them how to live, because, and how to enter into a cyber society as, as, as real persons. Italian Albanian Association treats this person, this orphan person, as not only, only orphans with disabilities that we are, we are always used to, to, to hear about me, from media or etc., but treats them like really persons with full rights to enter in civil society. So the aim of this research, of this intervention that I have tried to make is not to highlight uh, some, some of uh, uh, other researches that might highlight uh, only differences, but tries to, to show the importance of a new model, the, the importance uh, of a new approach, I would say better, that uh, I have called a uh, neuropsychospiritual model to try to change the, 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 the life of these persons and try to give them a hope rose. And another, another objective is that I, I, try, I, I try to trigger more discussion, to find new ideas, new ways for the, for, for the personal formation of these persons.
So operational definitions are a rose of hope, are for persons with disabilities, personal formation and narrow psycho-spiritual approach. Rose of hope. Why did I code so? We are used uh, to know that the green one means hope, since well, we were little, but green maybe it was not so acceptable for me because we have a lot to do with this persons. And I, I, I called it rose because it, um, uh, looking at it from a positive approach and um, it, I, I called it as the first color toward the journey of a persons with persons with hope, green one. Orphan persons with disabilities are persons with impairments, cognitive, sensorial, emotional development, and etc. They have restrictions in their capacity, and they have a lack of, of motivation to, to, to enter uh, or, or to, to execute everyday life's actions. Personal formation. Uh, when I was a student, uh, uh, when I first uh, began to study psychology, I was in the first year, and I remember an honored professor, uh, which is the dean of the university, Mithat Hoja, who explained us for the first time in the subject of development psychology, what does mean personal formation or personal development, that it is the pathway to go toward the, the gro personal growth. And I remember that uh, he, uh, he called a willful co cooperation with natural uh, to go in or to, to be included in a natural evo evolution, evolutionary uh, process in all the stages of the life. But with one condition that the person must be aware in, in, in a way to be truly effective. And uh, uh, so it includes its formal and informal of activities to in a way that the person can can know more and more about his identity his deficiency or his talents so to to change to change the, uh, the capacity uh, in our life what is neuro psycho uh, spiritual approach we will learn it uh, later Then, uh, what programs do exist actually to intervene for formal, uh, former, uh, for, for personal formation of these persons? I tried and tried, and, and I, I, I summarized some of them, uh, which one, for example, is Larry, uh, 202, uh, who focused on the spirituality, on psychiatric care, and there are some others, but I focus more on the last one, and uh, a little at Kolbuk, who talked about uh, moral, to, to, to learn them what is right and what is wrong, because, because it was a little more easy to intervene with this tragedy. But did this finding gave to me the right answer? Certainly not, because I was trying to make something else. I was trying to stimulate their system nervous also damaged. It, 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 in the first view, it, it uh, may damaged, but using psycho-spirituality approach. And then I asked, personal de development as an essential, essential Requisite to uh, spiritual development? Research methodology. This research was under a perspective with selected controlled trial. There were 24 participants. All they live uh, in home families. Uh, 14 girls and and 10 boys.
The research relies on the following strong question. Can we use the narrow psychospiritual approach as a moderator to move forward the personal formation of often persons with disabilities? Then, what is neuropsychospiritual approach in it itself? It's a new approach based on a combination of two fields, neuropsychology and psychospirituality, based on operational system presupposition, which cannot say what is defi definitely right or what is wrong, but I think it is acceptable to make an additional intervention care plan for persons with disabilities. It contains four challenges issues. The first one is a curriculum of historical roots, scientific and, and ethical strength. Historical roots. I began since I was a student and then a post-university student uh, following nearly the life, uh, everyday life of persons with mental illness uh, in different orphanages and psychiatrists of Škodra and, and Tirana too. And always I have, I have tried uh, in my mind and uh, with my professors and with, with other professionists how to minimize their disorder but because uh, I couldn't see them so irritated or so angry all the time without meaning and without hope all the time. And uh, I, had, I have had the occasion to work with an Italian social worker who has had 35 years of experience years in social services in Italy. And uh, she helped me a lot uh, to interview with this model because uh, at the beginning it was a, a little difficult for me because I had no model and I, I didn't know 